mean, even when I got full dress clothes and on, they still got something to do with that. A person gonna sin whether they want to. Or okay. Not. Well, they, they gonna sin if they choose to. You know what you think? You know what? You know what? Yeah, cool. They gonna grow up and be older men, right? As they get older, what are what are what are gonna be their eyesight? What's gonna what's gonna what's gonna they gonna be doing when they see a sister like you right now? Because we come to give our people a warning right. to teach you what hasn't been taught in our neighborhoods by our mothers, our fathers, our grandmothers, grandfathers, and pastors and so called leaders ever. That's why we live in our poor, destructive country. Now, when it comes to our prayers, we pray all the time, right? Grandma pray, mama pray, and sometimes, okay, and sometimes things happen and we think that. It's of God. God. I'm going to show you one thing. Read it. Read it. Read it. What's your name? See, my name is Colin. This is from Satan. All right, read. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Pick it up. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Oh, uh, what did the Bible say? Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So the Bible is telling us that the most high God, he does not hear sinners. You don't hear sinners. When, we, when we're in the midst of sin, it's like making a phone call to God to a, a deadline. He doesn't want to hear us because we are breaking his commands. Now, sometimes we pray and a thing might happen for us and we think that it's God. Right? Give me, uh, what is that? Read it. But if any man be worshipful of God and doeth not his, and doeth, his will, him, he hear. So God only hears us when we do his will. Now let's find out what the will is. Give me that in the Psalms. Let's find out what the will of God is and how the most high God hears us. Read. Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. So this is uh, uh, King David. David says, I delight to do thy will, O God. Yea, thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Is within my heart. So God's will is his laws. You understand? When we're following God's laws and we're trying to do God's laws, then he hears our prayers. Right. We're only given so much grace in this lifetime. Right. We're only given so much. We think we're going to just live life vicariously and then we're going to just be all right. Right. But the Bible says he will hear us when we keep his law. Now I'm going to give you a law. Something the brother was just on. Give me that in Leviticus. Well, yeah, give me that and uh, go back to me. Yeah, real quick. I want to show you something. Do you think that the most high, is anything wrong with, with the way you address today? Yeah. You, 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 right? So we're going to see what the Bible says because there's repentance for you. You can fix that. You know why? You know why it's such a bad thing? Because you know what you You know what you think? You know what They're going to grow up and be older men, right? As they get older, what are, what are, what are going to be their eyesight? What's going to be doing when they see a sister like you right now? It depends on how they raise them. Oh, they're they, they doing it right now. They're doing it right now. And it also has a fit with something how they was raised. Right. And what about, the the what about the rest of these brothers? What about the rest of these brothers out here? You know what they're doing to me? They're going to do something that they ain't already seen. Right. So they have to learn that somewhere. They did. They learned it. But what I'm trying to show you is. Your appearance will cause your brother to sin. Is that what it's not? I mean, even when I got full dress clothes and on, they still got something to do with that. A person gonna sin whether they want to. Or okay, not. well, they, they gonna sin if they choose to. No, if they want, well, that has something to do with it. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You believe in the Bible, right? Hmm? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. All right, so read it again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible says that we should, our women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Why? Cover themselves up because that is supposed to only be for who? Your husband. Really only for God, though. It's, a, it's supposed to be for your husband. The Lord raised you. Remember, we made his image after his likeness, but that's supposed to be for your husband. Right. 
with shame faces. With what? Shame faces. You know, our sister should be loud and out here, yo. You know how I ain't said that shit, but you know how sisters can be. Oh, girl! Just loud, loud as hell. The Bible says you should be quiet. Adorn yourself in modest apparel because you're a princess. You should carry yourself like a princess. You're the queen of the queen there, man. Mm -hmm. All praise, praise to the Most High. <laughs> the queen, of the, the queen over there, she did. All <laughs> praise to God. Look, because she's she trying to take your place. place. Right, right. She's, she's trying, trying to take your place. Bring it out. You ever seen her in the bare face? Bring it out. I don't even know who the queen is. Pull up, pull up a picture of Queen Elizabeth. I'm gonna show you who's trying to take your place. The place that God gave you. God told you to do it. Read it again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now I'm going to show you. The image that they give our sisters on TV and videos is what our children grow up, grow up watching and start becoming, right? Listen up, young man. I know y'all trying to leave. Pull a little close. Pull a little close. I want y'all to hear something. Because y'all are the kings on this earth. You're the kings on the earth. She's the princess on the earth. But ain't nobody teaching us that. We're growing up to be gangsters, drug dealers, thots and hoes. That ain't who we are. Right, huh? We gotta change that. It's up for you men to change that. Right. Show the sister a picture of Queen Elizabeth. This is who's trying to take your place. You ain't never seen her in a pair of pants. You don't know who the hell she is. But she's reversed the role and got you thinking that, or our sisters thinking that, this is how y'all should live. But we're going to take your place. Right? With shame faces and sobriety. Not with braided hair or gold huh. or pearls or costly array. So you're supposed to adorn yourself at the manner of a princess, read. But which becometh women. From becoming what? Which becometh women. So this is how you become a woman. Come on. Right. Professing right. godliness with no. Of God is teaching me to become a woman actively. So, God is teaching me to become a right woman actively. So, by me reading my Bible and listening to messages to my dreams, so, about my spirit, let me show you something. Let me finish this. I'm going to show you something. Because that's, that's, how, God, that's, how, how, that's how our religion is. That's how we think. Like, Give me 1 John chapter 2. When I be seeing people out here teaching it, 1 John 23. Because it, it, it bothers your spirit. No, it's no. To a little bit, sis. This is correction. This is love. Here. It's the fact of how I I hear what y'all saying, but then I've been actively seen it already. So it's like what it's just, let y'all speak y'all, but I'm gonna like, hey, what, what have you actively seen? God works his magic. Like the Bible make it out to seem like he's some what's the word? Like he's some Mystical hard spirit or something? No, no. As he's some like do what I say or nothing else say like. To an extent, yes, because you feel me, he done done so much, so I expect that respect back. That's I mean, that's just a respect level when it comes to God. But when it comes to like all this, God really, like. Well, he knows, he knows your heart. That's what you want to get to. He knows your heart, right? He knows everything. I'm, I'm going to show you. Let me read this. I'm, I'm going to read this for you. We're going to read this for these two young men right here, too. Read this. First John chapter 2, verse 3. You know? Hereby, we do know that we know him. This is how God says you know if you know him. Come on. If we keep his commandments. He says you know me if you keep my commandments. Read on. He that said I know him. You say you know God. And keep him not his commandments. And you not keeping commandment one. You're not keeping the commandments. Is a liar. God, what God said? Is a liar. Come on. And the truth is not in him. So God says here's how you're going to know if they know me. They're going to be found keeping my commandments. The Lord said, put fringes on your clothes. You see this? He put fringes on our clothes. The Lord said, you men, grow a beard. All of this is written in the Bible. Read on. No, no, no. What's that? What's that? Okay, read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. What is the heart? The heart is deceitful above all things. So God says, you know me if you keep my commandments, but your own heart, our own mind, because the, we ain't talking about this thing that pumps blood. He said the heart is your mind. Our own mind is what? It's deceitful above all things. God says above everything on earth, your own mind is deceitful. Read. And desperately wicked. It's what? Desperately wicked. Our minds are desperate to do wickedness. Like today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Did you know that? 
Did you go? You knew she was Saturday. Saturday. I looked that up because I was born on Saturday. Okay. okay. Did y'all know that the day was the Lord's Sabbath day? Now there are laws pertaining to the Sabbath day. Right. Did you know that? No. I'm going to show you. That's an honest. That's an honest answer. You did not know that there were laws pertaining to the Sabbath day. Did y'all know that there are laws pertaining to the Sabbath day? No. We're going to show you because we know you didn't know that. Know how we know? Because of the stuff you got in your hand. To show you what you did to them. Read. Well, Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. It's the only correction. It's to help you. Keep, it's to help you. You want a close relationship with God? I have a close relationship. You got to keep his commandments. Read. Right. And if the people of the land bring where? Or where is clothing? Come on. Or any victuals. Bills is food. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. The story is it's supposed to be closed on the Sabbath day. Right. But they don't keep God's commandments because they're not the Israelites. Right. God says if they bring clothes or if they bring food on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day to sell. To do what? To sell. To do what? To sell. To sell it to you Israelites. Come on. That we would not buy it of them. We ain't supposed to buy it of them. Come on. On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath day. So on the seventh day, guess, guess what you're not supposed to do? Yeah. What did guys just say? You're not supposed to buy right. or sell right. on the Saturday day. Right. You didn't know that before now. Now you know it. On the right. seventh day, which is Saturday, no buying, no selling. That's against God. You're right. breaking God's commandments. You understand? This is how you get closer. You may, all, all our people say, I got my own personal relationship with God. God says, if you ain't keeping the commandments, we don't have a personal relationship. That is not yeah. true. That's according to what's written in the Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up. We're reading it from the mouth of God, right? right? So, yes, you may pray, and the Lord knows you may be sincerely trying to reach Him. And I know that you're sincerely trying to reach God. You know why? Because you're standing right here today. Right? Right. You might think you didn't chose. You know what I want? You may think that you just walked up here because you thought, okay, well, I'm going to the store. No, the Lord made you come to the store so that you can hear this Bible. That's it. Yes. All right, read this. Job chapter 33, verse 14. You might think that y'all just passing by riding this bike just because it ain't Saturday and y'all having fun too. This is what y'all think. That ain't the Lord's word. The Lord is going to make everybody hear this word before he destroys America. Right. America is going to be destroyed. Bring just like out. Babylon was destroyed, just like Assyria was destroyed, just like the Lord saved our ancestors out of all of the other captivities, he's going to save us from this one too. That's so he's going to make sure that y'all hear this word so when he kill you for breaking his commandments, it is justified. That's right. For God speaking once, yet twice. God speaketh once, and he might speak twice. You might see a little TV ad remind you of God. You might get a flyer to remind you to give acknowledgement to God. He right. speaks it out. Yeah, twice. Come on. Yet men perceive it not. But we as men, we don't perceive when God is dealing with us. We don't understand when God is dealing with us. The right. prize in your hands, that's God dealing with you. Right. The words coming out of my mouth, that's God dealing with you. Right. We're giving you my words. We're giving you the words of God. So what your parents didn't do. Read. In a dream. In a vision of the night. So when you go lay on your bed at night, when deep sleep falls upon men, you fall asleep and you snore. <sighs> Read. And slumberings upon the bed. You knock that cold, slumbering on the bed. Read on. Then he openeth the ears of men. He do what? Openeth the ears of men. So when you lay on your bed at night, the Lord openeth your ears. He opens it up and does what? And sealeth their instructions. He seals the instructions. For in your dreams for what you're gonna do when you get up. Right. He yeah. sealed that instruction in your spirit. Read. That he may withdraw man from his purpose. That he may withdraw you from your own purpose. Now, you was about y'all about to leave and go right up the street, right? What if we hadn't called you over here and you went up the street and both of y'all got hit by a damn bus? Heat. The Lord probably just saved you from getting hit by a bus. Bring it up. By a big truck. The Lord probably saved you from getting, you got a car, you got to go into, you got to go. Jump in your car, and leave. The Lord probably saved you from getting into an accident, from getting shot, from anything, by standing right in front of the promise of the Lord. Right. He sealed these instructions in you so that you can hear his words today. Right. Read. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Come on. Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings of, of who? Of the Lord. Man's goings of the Lord. You thought I'm just going to the store. 
Lord said, yeah, you can go to the store, but then you're going to hear the truth being taught out of the Bible at that store. Right. Man's goings are of the Lord. Come on. How can a man then understand his own way? We don't understand our own way. Our own way, based on how we were raised and taught here in America, taught you to buy on the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. Now you know, okay, if I was born on the Sabbath, I'm going to have that day. But I'm not supposed to break the Sabbath. Right. By buying, selling, cooking, cleaning, working. You're not supposed to do none of that on the Sabbath day. Right. You understand? Now you're getting closer to God. Right. Now you're understanding how to get closer to God. Go back to Psalms 40 and 8 for me. This is how you get closer and build the relationship with God. Just because we wake up and we might have a dream. Remember this. Satan is in play in all things. Right. I'll show you that in a minute. Read. Psalms chapter 40 verse 8. I delight to do thy will. Oh my God. You delight to do the will of God, right? Y'all brothers, do y'all delight to do God's will? Do you want to do what God asks of you? Huh? Do you want to do what God asks of you? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? Should you do what he asks you to do? Have you ever heard him tell you to do something? What he told you to do today? Huh? Guess what? He did tell that spirit to wake up. He allowed that spirit within you to wake up. Right. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So these bodies, we, we, we think these bodies are ours, right? We tattoo them up. Look at them. Look what I did when I was a young man. Put tattoos all over it. Don't got no tattoos. Don't get none. That is against God's laws. These bodies that we got, we think belong to us. They belong to God. Read it again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You're the temple of God. Why? Come on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwells in this temple. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you defile the temple, smoking, drinking, tattoos, cutting your hair bald, if you defile the temple, him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy you. God gave us specific laws. Laws for the man, laws for the woman that we're supposed to follow. You understand that? Now, go back. No, 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 no. Give me two around you. Chapter 22. Because the brother was hitting it. We're going to hit it and we're going to bring it all the way home now. Go. Yes, Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. And the reason why we're hitting this is because this is the spirit in the world. Right. Do you know Lizzo? You ever heard of Lizzo? That's the song. Yeah. You know what she just did? You know she's in the news, right? She's a what? You know that she's in the news this week? Mm -hmm. No? Well, let me tell you what Lizzo did. Lizzo made her staff Oh, you heard about that, huh? My sister told me. Yeah, yeah took the bananas and, you know, you know what she did? Now, what is the image that she's pushing in the world? What is the image? A counterfeit Im image because they was first up there to help her get, you know what I mean? She was supposed to embrace the big woman and then they say, no, you turn your back and that's, that's confusing. That's a counterfeit, like, right? Yeah. But she's created this movement of women that are unhealthy, right? She, she, she uh, embraces and promotes the unhealthy lifestyle. She uh, and pushes with the imagery that she that she uh, projects into the world, the, the dress code, the lifestyle that she's living, is all pushed to all women. But here's what God says. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Now the woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. That's a commandment. Women should not wear what pertains to men when it comes to shorts, uh, 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 pants, right. when it comes to anything that reveals. Right. God said, who princess? Don't, don't reveal your secret parts. That's for your husband when you get married. Read. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man should not put on a woman's garment. He shouldn't be, men shouldn't be wearing dresses. Y'all understand that? Right. Would you wear a dress? Would you wear high heels? Huh? What if they gave you a million dollars? Would you put on a dress? Now, when you say it now, you better keep your word. What about you? Two million. Five million to run down the street in, in pantyhose and a dress. Would you do it? Don't do it. I like the spirit of your brothers. I got to go up to be godly men. Come on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, give me that abomination, Mr. Rock. Now, I'm going to show you something. When you, if you had to use the bathroom real bad right now, 
And you ran in that store to use the bathroom. How do you know which door to go in? Right. The sign. The sign, what sign got on? A woman with a what? With a dress on. So even our oppressors who did this to us, and the same ones that taught our women that it's okay to wear pants, that it's okay to wear daisy dude shorts and, and, and drawers outside, he understands that there is a role to be played by man and woman. We all got a role to play. And if we want this kingdom, if we want to get out of this condition that we're in, do, are you satisfied with this bum life we live as a people? Right, of course not. What about y'all brothers? Are y'all satisfied with this barbarous lifestyle that we live in? We poor. Right. God says we're rich. Right. Yeah, yeah. We are poor. But God says you are really rich. The only reason you're poor is because you have yet learned to keep my law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Come right. back. Repent. Return unto me, God says. Return unto me. Give me Revelation 18 and 4. Return unto me and turn your back on this great whore named America. Right. Turn away from my holidays. Turn away from her, uh, her, her so-called Sabbath days on Sunday where everybody gonna worship God. Turn away from 4th of July, right. Memorial Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Right. None right. of these things are of God. Right. God says turn your back on the great whore. Read. Well, Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. Get out. And I heard another voice from heaven. The voice is screaming from heaven saying what? Say, come out of her my people. God says come out of her my people. You are God's people. He says, come out of her, my people. Come on. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So that you won't be partakers of her sins. So that you won't walk in sin and God is now angry with you. Right. He has a problem with you. Right. Wow, give me that in the whole cell 4 4. He has a problem with you. Come on, read. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Plagues are coming to here, coming here to America. What are going to be these plagues? Destruction. Right. Nuclear fire is coming to America. You think these people got all of these bombs over here for nothing? Iran is at war. Ukraine is at war. Russia's at war. Guess what? Soon to come, America will be at war. And when those nuclear bombs get to flying, there's only one person that can save you. His name is Jesus Christ, the right. Black Messiah. Right. But if you are not found keeping God's laws, if you are not found doing the will of God, there is no salvation for you. Right. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. What did God say? Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You got flyers in your hand. You see this right here? You are the children of Israel. If you go by black or African American, you are the children of Israel. You're from the tribe of Judah. Right. The white man gave you the name black. Right. The white man gave you the name African American. Those right. are two white men. Right. African American is two white men. Right. Neo Scipio Africanus right. and Marigold Vespucci. Right. So, in order to first inherit the kingdom of heaven, you must come back to your God given name. Right. There is no place in the kingdom of heaven for black man. Right. There is no place in the kingdom of heaven for a Native American man right. or right. black woman. Right. Right. The only place in heaven is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That's what I read. That read. Teeth. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God got a problem with the inhabitants of the land. Come on. Because there is no truth. There is no what? Truth. There's no truth in the land. Our people think being black is the truth that we're black. Bring it out. We think being an African American is the truth. Right. That's not the truth. There's no truth in the land. Come on. No mercy. There ain't no mercy. We got brothers killing each other all over America. Am I right or wrong? Are we killing each other? Y'all, your kids. But I bet you know that brothers being killed all over the world, don't you? Yeah, you know that, right? They're being killed and shot down in the neighborhood. Right. Selling drugs to each other. Right. They're killing each other. Right. There's no love in our community. Teach. Really. No knowledge of God. There's no knowledge of God in the land. Come on. In the land. Come on. By swearing. By what? Swearing. Black people love to swear. I swear to God. That's what black people do. That's how you know they're talking about us. That's how you know the Lord is talking about us. Boy, I swear on my mama by my butt. Lying their ass off. Read. And lying. And what? And lying. Black people love to lie. Well, let me find out. I'm going to get back to you. Right? Get out. Well, let me let me $100 while I get back to you next. You're going to need my face. Fuck you. No, he ain't going to get that $100 back. Right. Come on, man. That boy, 
Oh, my God. 